is me. Good morning. Now today I'm afraid will be gruesome. It'll be tragic. It'll be painful. It'll be dangerous. It'll be tense. This is not the way a new year should begin. Evacuations have started already in Brisbane, earlier than expected. 40,000 houses are under threat in Brisbane. A third of Ipswich could be going underwater later today. We are in the middle of a national natural disaster that is killing people, devastating survivors and ruining lives. The human cost, 10 dead, but 90 missing. It's gone up, 90 people missing. This death toll is going to be huge, I'm afraid. The rescue workers today go into some of the hardest hit areas in the Lockyer Valley. They expect to be counting and recovering bodies. This is what the Queensland Premier, Anna Bly, said about that and what's ahead. With the clearing of the weather, is that our search and rescue teams are now going in there this morning. I expect them to have one of their toughest days. I think we're all going to be shocked by some of uh, what they find in these towns that were hit by that tsunami yesterday. So this is the first time we've really had those search and rescue teams right into those creeks and river systems. Uh, a potentially gruesome day for our emergency workers and a heartbreaking day for some families who are still holding out hope. So difficult times there. Now Adam Bly, the Queensland Premier a short while ago, I would say that she's one of the, the brighter points in this disaster. She's showing genuine leadership, dignity, poise, emotion. But look at it, Brisbane sitting, waiting from the worst, but the flood for the worst. The flooding has started, the, the river has broken its banks in some areas earlier than expected. Ipswich under threat. We've got houses gone, lives upside down, disease threatening. This rebuilding will take years and that'll set this country back. Our economy will take a belt. The Brisbane floods could cost as much, or the Queensland floods, as much as $13 billion. I've come back from leave early because I really do believe that what's unfolding at the moment not only has all that massive personal cost, but it will touch the lives of everybody listening today. It is that important. The impact will be that massive and long term. People are talking about vegetable crops and things like that. Forget about that. It's far broader than that, far more significant than that in financial and economic terms. I'm also back because today Victoria is very nervous itself, very nervous. There are already reports of flooding in Horsham and the Horsham area. There are warnings of, uh, of flooding across large areas of the state. There will be a massive dump of rain in Victoria over the next few days. If you look around Melbourne now, it's, it's very, very dark. It'll be nothing like Queensland, of course, but I do know the state government is very worried about it and there's a growing sense that the whole country is in a natural crisis. There's even a bit of flooding in Darwin. So this program reaches over Victoria. Anywhere in Victoria today, give me a call. If the rain hits you, the preparations are underway for floods, any stage, I'm told the areas around Horsham hit already. 96900 693 13 13 32. Flash flooding predicted. South West, North Central, North Wimmera, Mallee, just about everywhere. So give me a call at any time, anywhere across Victoria. 96900 693 13 13 32. This is what 3OW does really well. It keeps us in touch. And that's what we need to do over the next few days. Meanwhile, in Queensland, it's just it's, it's, it's almost impossible to comprehend. We will cross there through the morning. Nick McCallum is working at, on this off-air, getting details. He'll drop in through the morning regularly with news and updates. But it, it's, it's, it's almost inconceivable, isn't it, that a capital city can be hit like this. Not, not a small country town, a capital city. The power will be turned off soon. One in ten houses in Brisbane is expected to be flooded. Things are moving quickly. Nick will report regularly through the morning and we'll talk to the people in the middle of it. Death toll, as I said, looks certain to climb. 90 people missing. missing. I spoke to some Victorian officials last night who were very pessimistic. They, we've been helping out in Queensland and Victoria, I understand, has been asked to provide body identification teams. Uh, we did this after the Bali bombing. We have experts in uh, disaster recovery who will fly to Queensland. Nobody wants to think about how many could be dead here. Child dead. Children, several children. One swept out of a rescue boat. Little four-year-old boy, for heaven's sake. How did it happen? Why? Why no better warning system? All that comes later. For the moment, we've just got to cope and help and watch and wait.